Let's move to EV vehicles now because we all know the government. Remember one of Labor's pre-election policies that by 2030, the vast majority of cars sold in Australia would be EVs. Of course, a very big problem is there's not enough charges. So even now, people who have bought an EV are like, where am I supposed to fuel up with electricity still generated by fossil fuels, but somehow it's better for the environment. Well, Ampol has just put a dent in those plans by the Australian government, pulling the plug on their plans, saying, actually, initially this was a good idea, now it's not looking so good. Here's Chris Bowen on the 2nd of August, just earlier this month, promising that it's all going to be fine, we're investing in more EV charges, everyone take a back seat, we're taking care of it. This money that we're announcing today will support Ampol in rolling out 200 new charges by 2025. And this is key. Now, Ampol have dialed back their plans to roll out all these charges, saying we actually already have 100 charges that are either already built or underway in Australia and New Zealand. We just can't connect them to the grid. The grid is the problem. I've been saying this for so long about mm. renewables because our grid was not designed to accommodate renewable energy. Mm. And so the amount of money that we've already spent on the grid, we only have one grid. You can come up with any number of sources of energy that you want. The grid is going to be a big pullback here it's, because it's, it's simply not designed for renewable it's, energy. No, it's, it's nothing to do with um, being designed for renewable energy. It's not designed for the level of power that would be necessary in an entirely electric economy. So if exactly. So if it's not designed for renewable that, energy. That, well, Thank you. well, the re renewable energy that comes in. Is, it can come in from anywhere. This, the grid has no like problem you just handling said, the that. The of it, but, required. but the amount required to to power an all electric economy. So where electricity takes the place of gas, takes the place of petroleum, takes the place of oil, takes the place of everything. That is the problem. And everyone has known that. Everyone has known that the capacity of the grid needs to be built up enormously to, to transition, I hate that word so much, um, to this, this new all-electric economy. And it's part of what people say, you know, electrify everything, sort of what they're doing in Victoria. And, and basically, unless and now you now we've it, electrified and you, cars and woe and behold, and, unless it you do it, and you, That's work. right. So unless you have the capacity the grid in the grid, then the it. entire electric dream falls apart. So you've got to make sure that you can get enough, um, you can get enough power in there before you start talking about taking power out. And clearly, they're just not keeping pace. So it is an issue, but it's not it's not this incompatible with renewable energy. It's that the sheer well, scale... Well, I think it is for the reasons the that you just the sheer scale, in different words. Renewable energy is just a description of where energy comes from, the source of the energy. The, the problem is when you it's, plug in your car, it's not like plugging in a kettle. You plug in your no, car, that's right, yeah. it, it sucks so much yeah. power from the grid that the grid right. is simply There's incapable not of, of right. supplying it. This is a great example of how life can come at you very quickly. Ampol announced they had 92 charges, but they wanted 300 by the end of the year. And Chris Bowen's excited because he's oh, yeah. got Ampol on board. And so it's only 18 days ago, you saw the video, that he announces we're going to give millions to Ampol to help them do this. And uh, here we are just uh, three weeks after that. Having said that... Not I, even I, an Ampol have pulled the pin. I, I think the biggest challenge for EV drivers at the moment is that uh, Elon Musk interviewed Donald Trump and now the T in it Tesla conflicted. that everyone is driving around going, oh, I'm saving the planet, I'm saving the planet, now stands for Trump lover, <laughs> which I just find I, absolutely I delicious every time I see it. I do not buy that. I do not buy that at all. I mean, the, the stats show that hybrids are most people's car of choice yeah. nowadays. So as mm. much as the government has put in these fuel efficiency standards and trying to gradually make life harder for those of us who drive petrol cars, which is no problem to the grid, petrol it up, baby, the grid is completely unaffected. And then we wonder why thousands of cars relying solely on the grid the grid's packing it in. The grid's like, I, I, I can't do this. According to the Federal Chamber of Automotive Industries, there's a mouthful, hybrid sales are up 88.4% in July compared to the same month last year. So that is a massive, oh, yeah, yeah. massive increase. Yeah. While EV sales were up 6.6 .6 of new vehicle sales in July, which was down from the prior year yeah, in July. Right. So instead of the government going, OK, this isn't taking off as planned, 
On the 1st of August, they came out and said, we're doubling our funding for our Driving the Nation Fund. It's now <laughs> at $500 million instead of $250 now, I... million. So I want to know how much are taxpayers fitting the bill for this green dream of our governments, which well, $100 in million dollars in this EVs, case, according to the article. In the case um, of EVs has shown that people aren't even buying the cars and yet they the, keep just investing more and more and more while putting the screws in petrol car drivers trying to jimmy the system. It's not working. The market says no. But even in the electric market, Tesla is also losing market share and I am convinced it is because all the virtue signalling EV drivers who want to show what wonderful people they are are now suddenly mortified <laughs> that they are driving Elon Musk personified or, or, or automotified. I'm convinced, I'm absolutely convinced it is and because there's no, there's no escaping from it.